quads. Quads are my favorite type of investment. And look at this one. It might not be the prettiest quad, but it can make some money. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holden Wise TV. I'm your boy, James Wise. I am your host. I help you guys start build and grow your real estate portfolios. I am working with my clients, Steve and Natalie. We've been working together for some time now, guys. You guys are international teachers. Currently, you're living in Mexico, uh, but you guys have lived around the world, right? Uh, so what you guys are trying to do, you're trying to build a real estate portfolio. You guys are trying to get 40 doors and you need it to be full service, full turnkey service. You need the property management. You need the maintenance. You need the landscaping. You need the insurance. You need the whole thing to be handled for you. And that's what we do here at Holton Wise, guys. We take care of everything. So if you guys are interested in working with us the same way Steve and Natalie are, Send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, walk you through the process, right? And then after we do that, we do these videos for you. And Steve and Natalie, one of the things you guys had told me about your portfolio is you're really interested in doing triplexes and quads. We don't have a lot of inventory of triplexes and quads in the Cleveland market. So when one pops on the market, you got to pounce on it. And I just analyzed this bad boy for another client. He sent it to me. He was interested in it. I got him the analysis same day because we got to move quick on these things. Turns out uh, after the analysis, he decided he didn't want to do the deal, uh, which was kind of a shock to me because I thought it was a very smart deal to do. But hey, his loss is your gain. So I want you guys to take a look at that footage now. 4404 Bush Avenue listed a little over a month ago. It was under contract, then it fell out, right? It's a four unit apartment building. Now, they have the rent roll listed on the screen for us 530 545 496 one of these tenants has just moved out okay i believe it's uh either this this one at 400 or this one at 496 very possible though it could be the one at 530 i'm like 99 percent sure it's not the one at 545 right because they said it was one of the older long-term tenants the listing agent wasn't exactly clear on which tenant moved out but we know we have one vacancy okay so we're going to need to do a turnover renovation and then based upon the photos i saw a couple other things we're going to need to do uh, but we're not going to have too too much time to to think about this deal this one is gonna move quick man because 125k for a duplex in this neighborhood that's a that's a great price right we have updated electrical there but we have some panels here and here that are going to need to be addressed all right so half of the electrical is upgraded half of it's not got a couple of the units then you got some hot water tanks they all look to be you know mid to newer right maybe one was kind of old uh but other than that nothing major okay so we have the electrical issue and we have one of the four units is going to be totally vacant when you get it so what i think we need to do guys is i think you guys need to jump on this at 125 you're probably going to end up in a bidding war to be honest with you so 125 and then i've calculated twelve thousand dollars of repairs now that twelve thousand dollars is going to be 10,000 allocated toward one of the empty units. We're not 100% clear on which unit is empty at this time. And we don't have any photos other than like that random bathroom, right? Uh, so we have some unknowns. But that's the thing when you find a deal like this, guys. You guys did a very good job. You found a very good deal. Uh, we can't just go back and ask the listing agent a million questions, right? We're going to need to make our offer full price, and we're going to need to make it contingent on home inspection. And we'll be able to, you know, put together some details once we get further in the due diligence process. But what we need to do now, what you guys' job is right now, is to get this sucker under contract, because that's a hell of a deal, right? So I'm anticipating you'll be all into this deal for 137 but long term what's that going to look like it's going to look like $2300 a month in rent 27,600 a year right cuz each of these one bedroom units is really a $575 unit now 
back to this on the screen. All right. You see here, their, their old rent roll, three of these four are still going to be there when you acquire it. 496, 500, 400, 530. To my understanding, the $400 tenant and the $496 tenant, those were tenants that were there for like at least five to 10 years, okay? One of them, I'm pretty sure, is gone. But you got to understand, like, some of these super low rents, what you get, you get a lot of mom and pop landlords that they'll put tenants in there many years ago and because the tenants don't cause them any issues they just leave their rent as it is now i'm not saying that's the worst business decision right my goal is always to keep butts in the units but that said four hundred dollars i wouldn't want you to do due diligence on this building assuming you're renting four hundred dollar units because you're not because you're renting $575 units, right? So when this thing is fully cooking, fully bringing in that money, guys, $2,300 a month comes in. I anticipate you spending almost twelve, dollars leaving you with an average performance anticipation of eleven oh eight on a $137,000 investment. That's a 9.7 cap and a 19.8% cash on cash return when you finance it. And remember, guys, when you finance it and you're trying to calculate your cash on cash returns, you take your NOI minus your mortgage costs, right? Your net cash flow after mortgage, which in this case is expected to perform at around 8,500 a year. You divide that by your upfront cost, which in this case was our $31,250 down payment plus that $12,000 in renovations, which in this case is, remember, me allocating $10,000 towards that vacant unit because I don't have any information on that vacant unit. So I'm going to base that on assuming we need to just go and do everything. Paint, walls, floors, kitchen, bath to get that thing Section 8 ready, bringing in that 575 And then I've allocated an extra $2,000 because I saw a couple beautiful, pretty, upgraded electric panels. But then I saw some ugly old duds, right? So I think those are going to need to be addressed, guys. So... 20% cash on cash return is very close to what this thing's going to kick off. I love the neighborhood. You two did a great job of picking out this property. Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. This is on the west side of town. This is a neighborhood that I anticipate is going to see some positive uh, growth and positive direction after, you know, it receives all of the uh, benefit and reaction of that $1 billion investment that Metro Health is committed to putting into that neighborhood. More information on that is in the show notes below. All right, Steve, Natalie, let me know your thoughts. And as I said before, we got to move quick. If you guys want to take this one down, I fully anticipate a bidding war. So reply to the private email letting me know if you guys want to move forward on this deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.